Well, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer. Um, let's jump right back in where we were, right? We want to continue the same campaign. We were playing as the dwarves, and I have never played as dwarves before, so this is all new for me. I had played this one and beat the entire campaign, what I would consider a total win, um, by defeating Karl Franz, who is the uh, emperor of this region. But the, uh, he is actually over here. Karl Franz is over here. We are the Dwarves of the Mountains. So, uh, let's just keep going. I don't, uh, like I said, I don't know what we're doing necessarily. We might lose. We might uh, not do well. But we're going to do something. So, uh, where were we at? Let's see. We're trying to build stuff right now. So, we're right now, our public order is going up. You can see right here, we're at negative four right now. Once you get to negative 100... Um, you you have the risk of rebellions and things like that, but once you pat once you gain all of all three of the uh, the cities in a in a district, you can pass these little laws right here or these um, what are these called commandments I guess. This one here is plus fifteen growth. Uh, we have some that are like local recruitment capacity plus one, instruction cost minus ten percent, all that kind of stuff. Tax rates plus five. So we don't actually need any money right now. We're actually looking pretty good. Uh, let me move my camera just a bit. Because it sits right... Unfortunately, my camera sits right on top of my... Like, it reaches over, like, this far on my monitor. And so it's right under... This part right here... I can't actually see. So, anyways. Let's keep going. Um, do I want this light on? There we go. My hat's been throwing off the green screen a little bit. Anyways, let's keep going. We want to come over here and t attack these green screen... Green... Green screens. Yeah, these green skins. Oh, really? Okay. Um, I kind of want to come over here. We have this iron rock. Um, this is the city that is in here. Looks like this is by the... Gabby Eye. These are our dwarf clan mates. Um, eventually we'll take them out, but we do probably need another... Hmm. Anyways, we're not, we're, we're, we can't really do anything with this district down here until we take out these. We need to gain all four of those, so... So Black Crag, Iron Rock, and Catagdron are here. We kind of need to take them out. They're pro probably going to circle around and try to take these guys out. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to come back up here. We're going to send our boys. You boys go to the... They can actually go to the underground, can't they? How do, they, how do we do that? Well, they can't do anything right now. So let's just wait and see what's going to happen here. Okay. Did they move? No, they actually did not move. They... They didn't move here, so... Good. Well, that's good. Uh, do we want to take out this region? I kind of want to take these guys out. Why can't we move here? We're in the wrong stance. By the ancestors, no! We're not mustering. We want to go to stance none, but how do we do that? We have to wait till they're done, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. The stance is preventing us from moving, so... Um, we probably should get something. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Population surplus is at one, so let's take a look at that. Um, in this region. This will actually... See, if it has this little hammer right above it, that means we can actually build the next level. Uh, no, a next level of granary is plus 22 growth, which is additional food and resources for the region. Barley fields, silver, uh, the Silver Road. Gotta love all the pictures and all the stuff that is involved in that. Uh, where are we at here? King acts. Unit recruited. Okay, so we have four cross or three crossbowmen. Four crossbowmen here now. That's what we're that's what we're waiting on. Is this uh they can't move while they're mustering. Uh we have one catapult, no cavalry of any kind. We're gonna have to figure out something. I know that the dwarves actually have like uh catapults or not catapults, um helicopters, gyrocopters, things like that. So we'll we'll see. Right now, we're just kind of getting the game moving. A rival power desires a change in your mutual relations. A defensive alliance, huh? Um, I don't really know. 
So if we look right here, we can see, of course, over the course of time, everybody dislikes you because you end up having more power than them. That's what that negative five is right here. Um, for now, I think it would be okay to do this because um, it just would. They're going to want to go to war with us eventually. Levy Missile Warriors. So we have... Uh, what would Grung Grungni do? A Reckoner has approached requiring guidance on how to settle a dispute between two clans. Both are claiming ownership of a mine. One has remained loyal to you for centuries and the other has opposed many of your edicts. Give it to the loyalists. Come on, man. There's no there's no there's no question about that one. Retake the realms. So as soon as we get this guy back, we're gonna come take this one. That will lead us like a little bit of an open spot here. Um Can we actually cross over into their region? I don't know. Technically. I don't really want to look at this. I want to look at uh where is our diplomacy? There we go. Technically, we need to ask for Honor military ancestors. Military alliance. Uh, actually, we do have access. Okay. Okay. No, well, that's all I wanted to know. Good. Very good. All right. Well, let's keep going. Uh, we are basically we're building up our towns and building up our cities, and waiting to see what we can get. Uh, there wasn't. Did the events messages come down? I don't think they did. Buildings constructed. We've got the Mount. Square Squighorn Silver Road. What is that? The uh, there's a dwarf outpost, and uh, the pillars of the pillars of Grungi. What is that? Pillars of Grungi. Okay, go away. What is that? Uh, it's a, a trinket maker, so we can actually go with a level two trinket maker on that one. Um, and then we have established uh, that right there. So once we get up to level two, it unlocks a new spot here, so we can actually pick something else. The only problem is, do these, yeah, see, these only go up to level three. So everything on here actually goes up to like level four or higher. Like everything goes up to level four and it has the red X in it, which is no big deal, but I want to probably get to where we have extra, we want extra troops. So let's do that one. This, the, whenever we go this one, we'll do extra troops. And then we'll, we'll have to pick something like this where we can actually get the mustering hall. I think if we do that, because we could take it out of here. As long as it, as long as we control the whole region, I think we can basically um, recruit those units from anywhere in here. So um, what do we have here? Oh, we're, uh, we're still doing our stuff here. Uh, milit militia training, dwarven diplomacy... What do these things do? Income from sudden ones plus 5%. Diploma diplomatic relations plus 10 with all factions. Melee attack for dwarf warriors and minor units is plus 5. So I think we want to go with a little bit more... We want to go with these. Money. We want more money. And then we want to get our, our other stuff up here. So, sorry. My nose keeps tickling me, man. This must be the season of growth and... Summertime and all the good things. To war. One, one more time. One more time. So let's get a move on here. Let's let me grab my Stanley here. All right, now we can move. We have our the ability to move. So let's do that. Let's, march. Bag them. let's go ahead and get them. They are. They have. Zogov. They have quite a few guys my here. Brother, you squeak. We'll see what happens there. Maybe nothing. Um. These guys are coming up here too. So, Quarrelers, uh, location, okay, we got those guys. That's why we were able to move again. We have the level two farms is done. War declared by the Greenskins, cool. So we need to actually get another army built up here. So we down here, we have these ones here. We have heroes and we have lords. We recruit a lord here. Why don't we have the ability? Let's recruit him. Get him back in here. Let's just be about this. 
And then we're going to go ahead and recruit some more warriors. What do we have here? Miners? Um, what are these guys? They're better melee and defense. These guys are. And they're cheaper. No, they're more expensive. Sure enough. We just need a few extra, just in case these guys decide to attack. We have a new army ready for war, and this is why. Because the Greenskins the green skins are kind of coming up into our region. They came up through here. Uh, they probably use the underground, actually, now that I think about it. They probably use the underground to go under these mountains and come up over here. So, so there's that. That's pretty cool, honestly. I like that. The Great Book of Grudges. We have zero grudges. Okay, good. Let's keep a move on. We want to keep... Oh, yeah, see. See, and the, the thing that really sucks about this is, like, no matter how many uh, pre-deployed guys you have there, you're always going to lose them. Let's just automatically resolve. There's nothing we can do there. There's nothing I can do there. Um, we didn't kill... I don't think we killed a single one of their guys, but we will. We'll get them. Witness, uh, witnesses by witnessed by Grungi the Urk, the Urk and Groby bastards have taken our dwarven dwarven hold. Is there a fouler grudge ever rec recorded? Get it back, okay? Yeah, we 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 need to do that. And actually, I would rather do that than come over here. So let's come this way. We have these guys here. This is more just to keep our uh, our actual place here, so they we don't we don't lose them. Uh, can we actually upgrade this? Nothing yet, quite. Uh, province contested, the Silver Road by the Bloody Spears. Okay, so now we're just kind of working our way back across here. We've got another, we've got another turn to go on that one. Oh, they're gonna try to take all of them, huh? Wow. Okay. Well, we'll have to just rebuild all this crap. The same things that we just did, we'll have to rebuild it again. Crazy. Absolute freaking trash, man. And honestly, I would say this game is fun. Okay, this game is fun. But it's... This is what happens in this game in particular. You end up going back and forth and back and forth. And you take it, then he takes it. Then you take... And, uh, and to me, I don't... I'm not a big fan of that. I like being able to conquer and kind of push forward and move around. Whereas this game just keeps you basically going in circles. But we're going to keep playing it for a little while, at least. Population surplus is plus two. Great. So we can actually go up to another one here. And then we'll come back and take these. Katakirn. And now... And may now establish relations. Where are they? Where the heck is that? Oh, those are the yellow, the yellow guys here? Okay. Units recruited. So we have a few spare guys here. If we look here, we can actually see uh, garrison details here. We have all these garrison units, including these guys. So, so we got plus that. Well, let's get our, our uh, militia going here. Get plus five on our militia. That'll be great. Green skins and scabby eye. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. They're gonna die either way. Either way, they're dead. Oh yeah, I see him running away. Winds of magic change. Let's take a look. The fickle winds of magic spill from the realms of chaos and flow across the world. The winds wax and wane in an incomprehensible fashion. At times blowing a gale while in other places becalmed. Now the arcane currents have changed once again. The stronger the winds are blowing in a region, the faster they will replenish in battle. Um, battles fought there and vice versa. This affects how many spells can be cast over the course of battle. Oh, wow. Okay. Take the so you see these guys, they're basically... Let's fight them. Let's fight him for fun. Yeah, yeah, go back. Yeah, that's fun. It's fun to kick butt. 
It's fun. So let's get a move on here. Uh, we want all of our warriors in the front. All of our boys out front here. We want... Who are these guys? What do they do? Pickaxe infantry? I don't know if they're good or not. What are these guys? Let's get back here with these boys. We want all of our corridors right here. And we want them to not skirmish. Because we want them to stay strong. We want these guys here and we want the catapults right here. That way they can fight over the top. So it's funny if you, if you look at these little dwarf guys. You would think it's like a little chariot, but it's not. It's this little guy. He gets he's carried by these guys, which is kind of it's kind of entertaining. I, I find that entertaining. Looks really cool. Like the game, like the game looks really cool. It's just not very complex, which I would be interested to try the next ones. I would be interested to try the next Warhammers because I I have all of them. Gotta love the sounds of these effects. Yeah, take them out, boys. What are these little guys? Let's pause real quick. We'll take a look at the uh, take a look at the units here. So it looks like these little guys have like these little frill, these little frizzly helmets with like little horns and like almost look like uh, something that they would wear in Russia. You know what I mean? Like little little fur round hats like that. These guys are hiding from. I don't know what. They just don't want to get killed, I guess. Look at those freaking clubs, though. Pretty cool. Same guys over here. And it looks like that's pretty much all we're fighting against. The catapults are basically going here. I like to have them attack the front unit. That way, whatever, if they miss, they might go back and hit the ones in the back. So, you know, there's that. Where's our archer's range? See how those two missed because they're running, but they still took out guys in the back? That's why. Ooh, look at those guys. Imagine fighting that. Ooh, that'd be crazy. Archers are getting ready to open fire. Starting to waver. Crossbowman. Okay, these guys are crumbling too. Okay, catapults keep going straight up. For the High King! For High King Krothgar! These guys are all breaking. They're broken, but they're not... They're not, uh, shattered, so... That would be cool if we could actually take this whole battle and not ever even... Not even get into melee combat. Oh yeah. These guys are shattered. These guys are shattered. These are shattered. Shattered and shattered. Yeah. Battle's over. Yeah, 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 that's it. I think that's awesome. I think that's so cool. Uh... Okay. So here we go. Decisive victory. We didn't lose any men. They lost all of theirs. So... Uh, we want to occupy this place. Aye, we will better our cause. Yeah, well, uh, we might lose the one down here, but justifiably, I wasn't sure what we were doing down here. I think what we're going to do now is we're going to come this way, try to take this one, Iron Rock, and Black Crag. 
we'll try to take these three up here in these mountains. Kind of stay up here in this region. Onward. So we have a new um, skill point, but it is kind of nice. So if you go and hit this, it'll tell you before you go to the next uh, turn that you have these skill points that need to be assigned. Ah, uh, Miner's Instinct. Axe Lord. I like getting these ones because there's just, they just... Bigger loss reduction, small leadership plus three. Um, resolute, charge bonus plus two, melee defense plus two, hit points plus two. Um, yeah, we'll just keep going probably with one of these. This one's the plus three percent ammunition, and then we have. I think that's it. Should have looked and, and rebuilt some of this stuff. So your prestige grows. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. News of your conquest spreads far and wide. So we want to go. Developing power is noted by even the most distant of kings and bestial lords. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build this. I'm going to build this and then and then take this one out and rebuild it with something else that we that goes up to like tier five, since this one's only tier three. So ready. I declare war on them. Attack. So they have they have the garrisoned units, but then they also have the units that they have here. So we're gonna go ahead and just encircle them. Destroy them. And we'll just kind of see how it plays out. If they decide they want to attack us, it'll be easier to defend than it will be to attack. So we'll just kind of leave that one there. I do want to look at the events that happened here. Technologically, we got uh, military training. Every dwarf practices a trade, but as war is common. Common. Each clan readily forms into one or more regiments. That's cool. Um, so we can go here. We can... Uh, missile damage plus 10% for corridor units. Ammunition wagons. Ammunition plus 20% for dwarf missile infantry. Um, yeah. I mean, all these things are pretty good. Plus 10% tax money. So let's do that one. Then we'll do the, this one. And we'll kind of... I like to get... I like to do it in sections. You know, try to get them all out of the way. Uh, what else was there? Objectives. So we did this one, so it gave us plus 2,000 to the treasury and plus 2,000 for bonus objectives. Um, with the time of woes, a distant memory, the dwarves should look to the future and the res restoration of Ka Karazak Ano Ano Ankor. The more territory around and even beyond their traditional mountain homes the dwarves can claim, the more ancestors will be pleased. Well, yeah, that's what we're trying to do, buddy. What do we have here? We have grudges. Capture and occupy the following settlement. We are. We are doing that. We're going there. We're getting there. Greetings, honorable ally. Oh, greetings, honorable ally. Here. Military ally. You gotta talk like that. Okay, are we good? These guys are able to hold out for how long? Let's see. Um, so they are able to hold out five until their supplies run out, which then they will start to lose units. 11 until they completely surrender. So I'm, I'm willing to wait five. We mark another grudge. I'm willing to wait five uh, five turns to take this one because we don't have very strong units. And if even if they were kind of strong, they're not the best units quite yet. So um, this one is... We're going to lose... Unless we control the entire thing here, we're going to lose, um, you know, some happiness here. So we could go here. Let's just do that. May as well make him do something. Well, we want growth, so let's just do this one first. No, give me the growth. There we go. And over here, see, we have some upgrading we can do here. We can go ahead and go to level two here. Um, I want to take this one out. Okay. I thought maybe we could upgrade this one, but we can't. I want to take this one out because we're building it here. Let's go this one and then... Hmm. What is this? A trading depot. Hmm. Income plus two. We have the gem mine shafts, which generate a crapload of income up to 900 by the time we're done. 
This is growth. This is happiness. But we already have that one going for us. So let's probably go with... What are these? Slayers. Um, we should probably go with this for now. And then we'll, as we get further on, we'll have to upgrade it to something else. We'll have to upgrade to other things, so. Um, can you, um, for war. get a few more here? Okay. To war. Let's go. Let's keep a move on. Shameful display. A close ally of ours, an influential Dawi, sitting on several guild councils, has shamed his family name with a craven act. He should, by all accounts, take the Slayer Oath and go into exile, but we will lose his influence. So we get minus five in all. Hmm. Okay, get him out of here. Get, it. get out of here, bro. If you're going to be like that, just get out. That's just the way it is. Things are never going to be the same. Okay. So since we took it out here, we're going to go up this way. So we're going to go with a different route here. See, we have these ones here that we can go all the way up to level 5. This is a, a siege workshop that allows us to build grudge, uh, grudge throwers, which are catapults, and cannons and thunderers, missile infantry and siege artillery. And then field gunners, flying war machines. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's the way we're going to go. We want to do that one for sure. Um, pretty good here. All right. Let's go. Whew. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Dwarf treasuries. Dwarf treasuries are often as deep as our vaults, which can be very deep. Good. Clan trouble. Karaz a Karak. The clans are not happy. Well, they never are, but they are particularly grumpy at the moment. Grumbling clan lords are meeting in moots and muttering about your reign. Unhappy populace. So regardless, they're just grouchy. Summon me if you dare. What? So here's the thing. I just chose to banish that guy. To make him take it. Oh, there I go. To make him take the oath, right? To save population demoralization, but now they still have it. Freaking dwarves, man. Freaking dwarves. Like I said, they're always grumpy. How many more turns Ready do we have here? Answers. Three more turns until they start to lose units. Let's see, what do we want to get now? Here, we want to go ahead and go straight with the dwarven or the masterworks crossbow. Let's go there and let's keep moving. Kind of a fast-moving game, not uh, not too crazy, but to me, this is where the nerd really starts to like really appreciate things. Artwork, the bray herds come out of the forest; they emerge, the horned beasts that stand upright in a vile parody of man. They are the cloven ones, the children of chaos, and they have come for us to tear down our civilizations. The war herds are migrating and destroying anything in its path. Defend yourself from the beast men's wrath. That is so nerdy, but I love it. It's so good. And that's, I think, where uh, Warhammer really kind of pulls people in. Caravan raid. What? The dwarf trade caravan is ringed by goblin wolf raiders. A what? A stalemate has developed, but the foe refuses to relent. Such a, uh, such a local affray should be dealt with by the local lord. But your intervention could speed things up. Smash the enemy. So we're basically taking hits. We're taking hits uh, on uh, public order, but you see our public order is still at plus two. So we're not actually losing. We're doing okay. We're doing all right. So that's the only reason I'm continuing to do that. Okay, so here we go. We can go to level two here. And here we want to go. What do we not have money? Oh, wow. Population surplus. Okay, we just don't have any money. Okay. Recent events have proved successful for your Lord Burlock. 
Zoof, Zoofgebarden. They have reached rank two. Cool. Faction in, uh, encountered. We've got the uh, Black Black Venom. Where are they? Where the flip are these guys? Black Venom. The Jagged Horn Tribe. Uh, Jagged Horn Tribe should be these guys right here. War declared. Vampire counts. Okay, that's no big deal. Construction. Ooh, yeah. That's cool. Okay, we just don't have a lot of money right now. So you can see right now we're going up. Our, our army upkeep is really getting it. But like, once we get this back, it'll be better. So we're getting there. Oh, we still have a skill point. Let's do that one. Get that going. That gives us additional... Um, what the heck is this guy doing? You can't come through my... You can't come take... What the... Okay, so we have a nice population surplus here. Well, uh, these guys are not very happy. They're not going to be very happy because we just can't own all of it. So, One more turn. We don't have any money, so let's just continue on. We are in continuing to... So we have that. What do we want here? The Tinkerer is really the only one that can make us some decent money. That one's already there. These ones cannot go up that high. So we're just going to go Tinkerer, and then on this one we'll go additional troops. Ambush discovered. We have detected a force belonging to the Jagged Horn Tribe attempting to lay an ambush in Black Crag Death, Death Pass. Okay. Okay, technology researched. Pure steel crossbows are precision crafted instruments able to accurately deliver death from afar. Ooh, I like that. A great migration comes to our border, demanding shelter from the large from larger threats abroad. Do we let them cross into our territory or turn them away? First of all, on the on the uh the whole demand. I mean, if you're going to demand you don't deserve. There is nothing that that makes anybody deserve to cross a border into another country. Nobody deserves to be in somebody else's country. That being said, I'm going to let these people in because we're going to it'll give public order is going to go down, but re, um, growth is going to go up by 15%. So, public order of course is going down. There's the but yeah, that that is just some crap. You don't you don't you don't you don't have any demands. You can't make any demands on anybody. Nobody. So the trinket maker's done. That one's we're gonna be going up to level two. That will make us additional an additional three hundred on money. Um diplomacy relations. Hmm. Dwarven resolve. Unit experience. I think we'll go there. So now, fortunately, a lot of times, whenever we get to this point, these guys will rapidly, rapidly start to die off. I mean, I mean, it is crazy. Once you run out of supplies, see, I mean, you see, remember it was like right here, in the middle. Now it's like way down. See how many get how many troops these guys have Destroy lost. Them. We're gonna just go ahead and do one more wait. We're gonna wait one more time. Where's our events, buddy? Do we not have any events? Okay. So you see how rapidly this game progresses. I mean, it's just a turn-based game under the dark moon's glare. Your warriors range deep into hostile lands, but all is not well. There are dark omens abroad, as if the shadows of some horned god was watching from the evil moon above. The army is fettered by Morsleb, Morsleb, Morsleb's glare. Improve the omen? Yeah. We mark another grudge. So now it's even less. Now there's even more guys here. We're going to continue to hold out. We're going to continue to hold out. We might fight them at the end if they don't try to fight us first, but... Those guys are getting mad down there. Public order is going down here. We can only do so much. 
we can only do so much. Construction of the Tinker Maker, good. Okay, let's do one more. Oh man. All right. Confederation, the blood skins, the bloody spears and the green skins. War declared. Okay, nothing too crazy there. I am waiting for these guys to, what the heck? Wipe out the trespasses. There's quite literally nobody here. Let's fight it. God, 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 I heck. Like, see how the, how few guys they have left? I mean, we're going to be able to take these guys out with our crossbows and never even touch anything, so. Dwarf warriors! Hammer infantry. Hammer infantry. A vengeance. Not a big fan of this terrain. Either way, we want to go like this. Make it a nice, long stretch. Get these guys back here. King Put him right in the middle. They have wronged us. Get our crossbows. They have wronged us, you son of a guns. Let's start the battle. Easy. Who are you targeting? Oh! All right, boys. You're gonna. You need to take him. I'll take him out. Take him out. Oh yeah. So another reason we always want to kind of stay further back and make them run to us is because it actually wears their forces out. So if they're like right now, you can see they're steady. They're steady and fresh. But they, uh, by the time they run up to us, they get tired, so. Come the crossbows. Oh, oh my gosh, that just totally smashed those guys. So these guys have decided they're done. What are these? Oh, these are the same types of units, okay. Everybody's getting... Yeah, see, we won. I mean, it's really basically pointless to do that, but I'd, what I like to do is I like to see that right there. I like to see zero. And if I auto-resolve, no matter how many troops are there, you always lose some. Always. And so I like to lose zero, and so then I fight the battles. I suppose... Okay. So we completed this one. So now we can pass this. Um, there is nothing for actual public order. Yeah, we go. There we go. Let's do that one. Plus two a public order. And then we have these guys here. What is this guy? What is this guy? He's like a four-eyed cow or like a minotaur. Savage masters of the battlefield, beast lords join the fray with axes in hand and death in mind. The beast lords of the war herds are hairy, muscle bound brutes possessed of a raw and savage might. They carry themselves with swaggering confidence, reveling in their own superiority over less beasts. Their thick hair skulls are crowned with magnificent, set, magnificent sets of horns as sharp and. Okay, you, you get the picture. What are these guys? Beast lords. So these are spearmen? What are these guys? Yeah, sp uh, sp oh no, spearmen herd. There we have some raiders, which is missile infantry. We have some chaos warhounds. Oh my gosh. Warhounds. Um, a pack of chaos warhounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I don't know. We're actually not at war with them yet, so let's just kind of hang tight and see. Is our public order? Our public order is dropping rapidly, so let's go ahead and let's get this going first. Um, where is our 
Is there anything that like makes it plus whatever when we're around? Um, hmm. Wall breaker. I don't know. I'm just looking for something that would help me. with uh, public order. But there is nothing here. There it is right there. It comes at level 12. We're at level 7. Okay. So there is there is a way for us to have better stuff. It's just... It's, it's just not yet. So let's keep going. Uh, defender... Border Princes? Um, yeah. Sure. We'll enter war on side of on, on side of our ally here. Oh, look at those wolves. They're like... Okay, so Toolmaker. Technology researched. When a Dawi is in need of decent hammers or or as the Toolmaker... Or as the Toolmaker is the place to find it. Cool. Um, I'm glad about that. Toolmakers Guild? Um... Heavy cornstone. Kern, Dwarf grinding stones are always perfectly round and decorated with geometric scrawls and runes, usually of Valaya's making. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and start working on some infantry stuff. You kind of want to bounce back and forth, in my experience. Public order is still pretty low. Kind of crazy. Go ahead and go up to level 2 here with this one. Get some tinker going here. Get this up to this one. Start making some money. Uh, we have enough money to keep our people happy. For now. What? Or to keep our armies happy. So, that's pretty much all we have going for us right now. We're basically just kind of building up our defenses, building up everything that we have going for us. So, that's what we're doing. Imminent Rebellion. Yeah, so over here, these guys, see how it's getting down to, uh, it's getting low. Do we want to necessarily, I don't know if I necessarily want to invest the money in that quite yet. Let's go down here. We'll see if we can. Let's, we'll see if we can, you know, stop it from happening. Because I don't, I don't want them to rebel. I would like to keep that area because eventually we'll we'll go to war with these guys in the purple here, and we'll have to, uh, you know, what are these guys? Gorkai Dudley. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Construction complete. The, the trinket maker. Empire and the Skull Smashers, Skull Smashers, Averland. Averland, where are you? Averland? Who are you? Well met, dwarves. What are your demands? I hope you will be more accommodating than usual. We're just going to go non-aggression. It's kind of a, a, a way to break the ice and try to start out getting some type of negotiation done. So so let's go. Let's do this. Oh, they made, they beat us to it. What? So they Yeah, they tried to attack us. Crazy. Okay. We'll get back to it. Ready access. What are these guys? Let's fight them, man. Let's fight them. I want to see what they are. I like to get down into the game and, and see what the units are. Like, I like to see them because that's part of this game. Part of this game is being down on the ground and fighting it out. That's just what we do. And uh, I like to see that. Who are these boys? They're like little goblins. Okay. Okay. 
That's awesome. I love that. I, I love that, honestly. I do. So, basic uh, standard formation. Always put... I always put these guys in the front. Sometimes I'll put... Sometimes I'll put these guys in the front as well and then have them skirmish back, but, you know, I think we'll be okay. Oh. Whoa, whoa, look at this guy. We haven't actually haven't seen this guy in battle yet. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that beard. Dude, I'd have to, like, never shave ever. Imagine having multiple braids. I know it's a video game, but... I'm just saying it would be crazy cool. Okay, so these guys, since we are attacking them... Oh, wow, look at these. Oh. Because we're attacking them, they sometimes they will not come forward. So let's go ahead and move everybody. Go ahead and move everybody forward. And we don't necessarily need to run. I don't want our troops to show up exhausted, so we're gonna just kind of go nice and easy. Let's look. Let's 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 look at our troops real quick. I am interested to see what these guys are. So are these just axemen? It looks like they are just shielded axemen. Honestly, they look really fantastic. They really do. I love the horned helmets, the beards, the you know the braids. I think it looks great. We march on the orc scum. Orc scum. So a lot of times when you start to move forward, they will charge you. So I just... Oh, uh, no. Get out of there. How do I get out of this viewpoint? I don't want to do this. What the devil? Oh my gosh. I have never clicked that before. No, I want you guys up front. I I clicked that one and I don't I don't like that. See how they're coming now? So now, in order to stop that, we want to have them turn around and stop. These guys are going to run up and stop right here. This guy's going to be right here. See, we just want to engage them enough to where they will actually fight. Boom, look at this guy way back here. He got flung like crazy. For the ancestors. War with us. On earth. Yes. Kill works. War with us. Okay, these guys aren't really doing anything. Get over here, boys. No, you boys get over here. Get over here. We want to... Oh, jeez. We want to circle in around. Sorry, I clicked out of it. We want to circle in around. Come right here. For the high king, yes! Moving out! Kill them! So they're trying to punch through the line, but we're trying to enclose around the back. Come on, boys, get in here. Dwarf warriors. The ones unite. Nice. Boom, look at this guy go. Look at him go, man. Oh man, that's fantastic. So now we want these guys. Boom. 
We don't necessarily want their ball, their leader to get away. So I'm trying to kill their leader is what I'm trying to do. We got him. Yeah, so I'm trying to I'm trying to kill the leader. That way you get kind of the the most you know, these guys will kind of disperse, but once the leader's gone, it kind of takes away the morale of that whole group. So So we gained by by killing the warlords in battle. You gained things. So this we gained armor, armor of fortune. Those who don the armor of fortune seem to have the favor of Randall, able to parry the lethal blow with a lucky deflection. Armor plus six, ward save plus eight percent or eight percent in physical resistance, eight percent. So those things we can actually let's go this way. Ready access. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, auto resolve this one. Kill all of them. Kill them all. What? Get over here. What? He's unthinkable. Okay, so we did get that done. I didn't know that was a grudge, but okay. Uh, weapon gained. Okay, body blade is okay. Let so we gained that. This. The axe thirsts for war. So we have. Okay, so we are able to actually get another skill point here. Hard hit and plus two melee defense. Um. Let's do that. I'd like to get some melee up. Oh, so he has a couple, huh? Oh, he has two. Okay. Scarred veterans. And then with the armor and and, and the sword that we just got, let's take a look and see. If we look at this guy, um, under his details, um, he has the helm of discord. Weapons. Um, we can give him the Biting Blade, Armor Piercing Damage. Oh, he actually, the other guy actually has it. Okay. We have no Talismans. We have none of these. Armor of Fortune. Okay, well, let's go to our next general. There we go. So, Armor of Fortune and Biting Blade. Now he has that stuff. Um, it's great. Income from breweries and gem cutters, plus 6%. Um, actually, we probably want to put that at the other guy, because he's... Let's do that. Okay. So that was not a bad deal there. Let's, let's keep moving on. Oh, we've got some guys. See, and this is what I'm talking about. These guys just pop up out of nowhere, and then they take your city out again, and then you gotta go take it out, and then you, it's just this continuous circle. Which is annoying to me. So they sacked it. They didn't actually do anything, which means they just basically tore it all down. Okay, a stranger comes. A cloaked stranger from the mist-shrouded lands of Albion approaches with a request. He is of sinister aspect, but assures you that his intentions are good. Grant the request. Chaos corruption. Plus three. Safeguard. Refuse this creature. Send me to vengeance. Destroy them. So we Both want to take the these front. guys out. It is time. I'm going to auto resolve this one. I want them gone because they're trying to come up around us. So let's go Onward. back. Let's go back up here and take this one. Enemy killed. Yes. Okay. Let's go here. We're going to go this way. Alright, let's we can look at those events again that just happened. So the pillaging of So they're pillaging. And they took they they raided our town. Can we upgrade? Yeah, we can upgrade. Actually don't have any money. Let's just do that one. Okay, what's our grudge now? What are we trying to do? Okay, so we need to we need to defeat them in battle. That is our next mission. Held by Rathal Grimnar, the old enemy. Grimnir, Grimnir, the old enemy. A green skin mob has sacked a dwarven hold. The rage is deep. This is a grudge 
like no other, find the groby scum responsible, and wipe them out. Oi, we will. All reports. Decisive victory, great for us. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Hard to hit, gonna do that one. Let's get it. See if they're doing it again. I just can't get up there fast enough. See, if I had gone from here to here, this one would have come up and taken that one. What can you do? Talk then, but I make no oath for the surety of your life. Right. Peace treaty. Who are you fighting against? Not likely. Okay. Heroes of Grungi, the Silver Roads. They are still raiding. They are raiding. Okay, Dead Eyes can pick off Goblin Noses at 100 paces. For, <laughs> for really good ones, it's twice that range. Cool. That's awesome. Uh, we'll do that one. What? Let's get this guy. These guys, okay, see, so having the army here is actually giving them a plus two. Well, that's good. We're going to go ahead and hold out. We're going to do that one. And we'll kind of see where we go. We just don't have a lot of money right now. We don't, we don't have enough money to repair, so... And I'm not going to repair it if these guys are just going to destroy it again. I'm not going to repair it if they're just going to destroy it again, so... We want those. The High King acts. Move in. Let's get him. Okay. Good. Grimnir's axe first. Good, good, good. Alright. Enemy killed in battle. Great. Get back in here. We want to uh, repair this one and this one. And that should help things out a bit. Let's hope. Scarred Veteran is hit points plus three. Weapon strength plus three when fighting against greenskin tribes. Let's just do that one. Let's just do that one. A grudge too far. The enemy has wronged us. But right, writing this grudge will cost us deeply, perhaps too deeply. Maybe, just this once, we should ignore the slight and focus on the grander objective. Whatever. Got Ben! Send me to vengeance! Vampires encountered. Oh, great. Uh, let's get to the diplomacy. Hello. Um, you want to start? Mortals, thou hast trespassed. No. Alright, go to hell then. Alright, let's get these guys. The Empire. We can actually reach out to those the guys. The Celestial College implores that I hear you. I remain unconvinced. Um, can we not trade? I guess we can't trade with them. Okay. Whatever. We're basically just restoring our troops right now, so. And they actually restore relatively quick, which is great. So now we can go ahead and up these guys, up the, up the tinkerer. Um, can we actually... We don't have any money? So we're just kind of waiting. We have this one here. So now if we look at this, um, right here, we added more to the garrison troops. So you can see that without that, there would only be like these three guys, these, these five, but it added more for that. And you can, you can tell just by holding over it on the right hand, on the left hand side, it says it adds garage throwers, um, dwarven warriors and the uh, more crossbowmen. Okay. 
Blood River Valley. Ooh. Cool. Let's go. Barag Dwaz Dwazbag. Barag Dwazbag. Okay. Ammunition wagons. Dwarven wagon trains transport case loads of shot, buckets of crossbow bolts, and cask casks of black powder to the coming fight. Nice. That's great. I like that. Volley fire. Reload time reduction plus 15% for coiler units. Uh, reload time reduction plus 15% for thunderer units. Dwarven resolve. Why can't we do this one, huh? Oh, we gotta do that one. Let's do that one since it's, it's still back there. Um, okay. Now what? We could up this and go here. We just don't have a lot of money. The High King acts. What are these? Pickaxe infantry, blasting charges. Good against gates. Eh. Miners. What are these guys? Uh, armored and shielded, charging defense against large foes. Speed, melee attack is 34, melee attack is 30, melee defense 30. Oh yeah, these guys are better. Way better. Let's do that, and then we're gonna go... Resolute. And then we're gonna try to go under the underground. And take out the green skin guys on this side. Without having to go around. Can we jump across? Good. Grimnir's axe thirsts for the Karazhan core. Throw bearers! Let's march! Okay. So we're there. Where are we at now? Tinkerer level 2, war declared. Okay, I don't really care about this much too much unless it actually has something to do with me. So let's go ahead and stop that and we'll try to take out this little city real quick. Start working our way around. What y'all want now? Peace tree. Their offers pay. Um. Okay. I'll accept. Because I need money. But that's all. Um, we need this one and this one. Growth, probably. Okay, these guys, we need to go to Stance None. Fine! Drang! I declare war on them! Huh. I declare a thumb war. Okay, good. Let's fight it. Let's fight. Let's fight! So we have some archers. We have a couple of these. Uh, it looks like kind of the same units that we've been fighting, which makes sense. They're just the green skins, is all. What's this? What is this? A shaded? Oh. Gotta love these battle scenes, like these battlefields, though. They're great. I mean, I think they're great. Some of them are really neat. They're like deep down inside these caverns and stuff. So. Let's take a look at this side. I think that looks fantastic. I'm all, I'm all about that. I'm all about that. Let's take these guys. Let's take all of these guys up front. Make a solid line. This is basically how I set up every single time. With very few exceptions. This guy and this guy? These guys? Let's go here and here. Kind of concentrate some fire a little bit more centered. So if we kind of look at all these guys, you can see it crosses over doubly here, but then these guys will be ready in the center. These guys obviously in the back. Let's go. Oh, wow. Look at these little goblin guys. Oh. These guys look pretty cool, huh? That looks pretty cool. I like that. 
These little goblin guys, they're little archers. Who are the other guys we're looking at here? Kind of the same same type of units we've been fighting already. Only reason I have the catapults focus more in the front is because, um, like I said, when they're double stacked, when you hit one, it'll go into the back. It'll take out guys back here as well, see? Versus over here, we'd be basically just missing. There we go. Fire up. There we go. Open fire. We are going to take some casualties. Hopefully not nearly as many as we would if we weren't. There we go. Arches are, are bailing. Okay, so we have multiple units over here. We want to go ahead and send them out. Circling it around. These guys are broken. Yes. And this is where, like, if I did have cavalry, I would definitely chase these guys down and probably try to kill every single one of them. That way they can get away. Let's see how this guy goes. Oh, snap. That's cool. We don't always win every battle. Just so you guys know. We lost 17 guys. Meh, big deal. That's kind of a... I don't like losing any, but you know how it goes. Sometimes it just has to happen. But at least we were able to take this. We do want to occupy. Okay, so now we want Iron Rock, which is right here. And then the Black Crag, which is over here. We want to try to take those... So we can control the whole region. Um, we want to go ahead and keep trying to make some money here. Oh, look at here. We got some timber. In income is 100, 115, 200. Um, really, that's all there is, there is here. Okay, we'll do timber and we're going to do additional forces. And then we need to kind of push our way over this way. Assuming that these guys don't sneak back around because they are over here. These guys here, they are that way. So hopefully they don't come sneaking around this way, but we're gonna try to take them out right here. Might not be a bad idea just to circle over. We might be able to take Black Rock right here, but we'll do that on the next episode, all right? You guys let me know what you think of Total War, Warhammer. I kind of like this one. It's just fun. It's just kind of like what I would like to play on a Saturday afternoon. Like this is what I would be doing, right? Is playing this, um, not necessarily Green Hell, not necessarily anything. I would play something like this. Let me know what you guys think, though. I'm curious to see what uh, if you guys like this or not. Um, but other than that, guys, uh, I think we're going to call it right there. I'll save it. And we'll try again uh, on the next episode, all right? Next time, we'll try to take over this district, and hopefully we can kind of start to seal in some of our, our rain over here. I'm not sure how far south we can go, but we can definitely come all the way down into these mountains and take over some territory. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Take care, guys.